Let me also share some advice to you by which I live my own life. Advice from a guy whose trailer park start reminds me a lot of my own. In Lose Yourself, my favorite urban philosopher, Marshall Mathers, a.k.a. Eminem, nails it when he rhymes my favorite hook of all time, when he says, lose yourself in the music, the moment, you better never let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. Let me, uh, let me translate that for the older folks here. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. I mean, listen closely, seriously, listen closely to the preface of, Sh of Slim Shady's rap. I'm going to skip the part where he talks about vomit on his sweater, okay. So he says, look, if you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, one moment, would you capture it or just let it slip? I mean, class of 2K14, do not miss your chance to blow. Do not let it slip. You have become deeply attuned. You have to be deeply attuned to the world and yourself to be ready when that moment presents itself. Be ready. Carpe diem. It's time to stop in text message again. Okay. <clears throat> That's funny. Thank you. That funny. You've, uh, you've heard the phrase, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Well, you know, a lot of knowledge is a dangerous thing, too. I encourage you to read this book called The Black Swan by Nassim Taleb. The subtitle of this book is The Impact of the Highly Improbable. And to save you $24.99, I'm sorry, Amazon.com, besides your Kindle's back ordered anyway, so don't worry about it. I'm going to sum up his 400 some odd words like this. Say you are a turkey. Uh, now, I'm, not, I'm talking about uh, not the kind you would have been called when you were dissed when I was in college. I'm talking about the kind of turkey that goes gobble, 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 gobble. You know, the kind of turkey that was, you know, one vote away from being our national bird. You know, so 364 days of the year when you're a turkey, you believe farmers are the coolest sugar daddies on the planet. I mean, they feed you, they house you, they give you a field in which to roam and do your turkey dance. They keep you fat and happy in Turkeyville. And then, on that 365th day, all of your knowledge-based, empirically sound evidence will get you killed. You see, a, little, a lot of knowledge can kill you too. Do you know what the world view of the turkey is missing? First of all, it has no outside perspective. If that turkey, if that turkey had just come to McDaniel to become a global citizen and had gone on a study abroad program to the Safeway freezer aisle, I mean, <laughs> It would have come back with a butterball of a story, I'm telling you, because that would have not have matched all the knowledge of the other turkeys, and they would have ridiculed him, but on day 366, I know who would be alive and hiding underneath Farmer John's John Deere. Remember what Kanye says, that that don't kill me will only make me stronger. Tom Turkey says, if you want to solve the problems you don't even know you currently have, you've got to get out of your comfort zone. You've got to see the world as other people see it. See the world from a different perspective, or you may be dinner. That's a metaphor, actually. The second thing the turkey lacks is the ability to know. He doesn't know that there are a whole lot of things he doesn't even know that he doesn't know them. And that's why you go to McDaniel instead of one of those schools that advertises at 2 a.m. on channel 162. I see knowledge as one of three concentric circles. The inner one is all the things you know you know. Like, I know a lot of Barry Manilow lyrics. This is useless, but I know them. Now, the next circle, the next circle houses all the things that you uh, don't know. I don't know how to do brain surgery. I don't know why people watch Hannah Montana. <laughs> but the big circle, the biggest circle of them all, are the things you don't even know that you don't even know. And I can't give you an example because I don't even know what it is. But that is the place where the black swans swim, where the turkeys learn that they do the giving and thanksgiving. It's the highly improbable world, and if we teach you anything at McDaniel, I hope we're preparing you for encountering that circle. The more I know, the more I know that I don't even know what I don't know. I used to call that paradox, now I call it smart. All right, I'm supposed to leave you with something value, or I'm supposed to just leave you maybe, but um, his, uh, his Holiness, the Dalai Lama, has said, you folks in the West are never going to be enlightened until you learn how to sit in a room by yourselves and do nothing. Now, in bumper sticker language, that would be, don't just do something, sit there. I'm amazed by you guys. You know, your intellect, your promise for the future, all the things you've achieved. But I'm asking you, do you ever stop 
and look out the window enough and just enjoy the journey. I mean, even Lady Gaga tells you to just da -da 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 dance, da -da -da dance, da -da -da dance. I mean, come on. I mean, even Miley Cyrus, for gosh sakes, in the climb says this, always going to be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm going to have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's on the other side. It's the climb. And you guys are fast climbers. So I ask you sometimes to ask yourself the question, what am I climbing so much for? A number of years ago, I went to mountaineering school in Colorado. My climbing instructor was a six-foot-tall Nigerian woman named Opalonga, and she took us out to this vertical cliff, and I was belayed, tied into my partner with these ropes. My partner had the ropes on the ground, and I climb up that rock face as Opalonga is waiting on me at the top. And when I got to the top of that climb, I made it. You know, I was so happy, and I looked at her, and we kind of come nose to nose, and she's at the top, and I look at her, and she says, what did you learn? in her Nigerian English, what did you learn? And I said, I can do this, I can do this. And she looked at me and she said, you haven't learned a damn thing. <laughs> it's about learning how to fall. That's what this exercise is about, teaching you how to fall so you can get your life saved when you're on that mountain. Now let go, <laughs> let go. I know what I wanted to do, <laughs> but you know what I did? I let go. And you know what happened? I fell about three feet, and I didn't get hurt. I let go. My partner on belay, the person I was roped into, literally saved my life. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. Opalonga, she was like all these people you see seated behind me here. All the people working at this college who've now friended you. On the hill called McDaniel, you're roped in. We've got your back. You and I, we're beginning our first year at McDaniel, and we're climbing to the top of the hill. But every now and then, when you stop studying and texting and Twittering, I want you to find your climbing partner on this journey. And you know what I want you to do? Just d -d 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 dance, dance, enjoy it. It's a privilege, a privilege to teach you. But you know what's an even greater privilege that we have? We get to learn from you. So men and women of McDaniel College, teach me something. My name is Roger Casey, and I believe in this message. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs>